guys, good morning. So today's vlog is going to be a refrigerator organization vlog. So I actually got a ton of organization things over there to make my refrigerator a little bit more organized. So I actually have a pretty small refrigerator. This one came with the house, so we actually didn't even pick it. I would have totally picked a different one. <laughs> but it's very small, and here, let me show you guys. It's really small. So I got some organizers to really just kind of make this look a lot better and then also to help some save some space even though it's not very full right now honestly because we're doing I am doing Jenny Craig and all my meals are basically frozen as you guys can tell right there but I really want to organize this up so I'm gonna go ahead and do this really quickly so this is the before and then I will show you guys the after Okay, so these are from a brand called Sorbus. They're not sponsoring or anything. I, these are just the ones that I got. There is one more that I want to get, and it's for like um, water bottles to help store water bottles in the fridge because we always do have water bottles. And we have little Riley. All right, so first off, we have the egg crates to help, you know, store the eggs right there. Yes. <laughs> and then we have the one for all the sodas and like any cans that you have. And then we have just some other little organizers that I honestly don't know what I'm going to use them for. I'm just going to be putting stuff together and seeing what looks the best. Hi, Riley. Hi, puppies. But, oh, her hands are wet. <laughs> um, and then here's a bigger one right here. And then here's the biggest one right there. So I'm just going to organize this super quick and see how I'm going to do it. Losing So this didn't really change much right there. I don't even know why we have beers down there because we don't even drink. Those have been there for over a year. <laughs> Probably like almost two years now. Um, but here are the waters. So I'm actually gonna get the little thing that you can or like you can organize your waters in so that way they lay flat and you can have a lot more space. I think I'm gonna get two of those and I'm gonna start putting the waters down here because all those would stack perfectly. But here are where the cans go. Then I did the vegetables. These is what these are what we give Elsa. She will only eat her food if we put peas and carrots on it. I know, it's ridiculous. She's extra. And then we have Joel's salsa. We have the eggs. We still have two eggs left in here. So those are that's where that ugh, that's where that goes. Then we have our my shakes. These are all leftovers for Joel. These are my yogurts. And then waters, the prune juice for Riley. Then in here is all like delis and cheeses. And then bread, because if you leave bread in the refrigerator, it keeps it better longer. It won't expire as fast. And then all my vegetables, are, vegetables that I make for my sides are down there. Okay, so for lunch for me from Jenny Craig, I got a turkey burger and then I have my broccoli and cheddar as a side and I can use a little bit of mustard because it's zero calories. Then also my Diet Hansen and then I didn't eat my morning snack so I'm gonna have it with my lunch, it's my bar. Joel is having a turkey burger that's leftovers from Home Chef. I'm jealous because that one looks so much better than this one and then his salsa and chips. All right, so I've had a few people ask me about what I think about Jenny Craig. Honestly, it's awesome because it's like portion control, but the bad thing about it is that the food is very, very, very processed. And I don't think it's sustainable at all with this type of food. I think you could do a lot better if you meal prepped and you did like lean meats, maybe like make your whole like plate, like, you know, this, your meat has to be the size of your palm right here, not the size of your hand, the size of your palm and then make your vegetables your biggest serving on your plate and then have like a couple of like little potatoes but not a lot but it's still working and i can tell you this much i never used to have cheese on top of my broccoli ever it's pretty good but i've never done that so but yeah so that's my little synopsis of that so far but it has been working for me but i think the biggest thing is just teaching me force control so i'm gonna go ahead and eat this guy's choking over here. And then we're gonna go and drive around and look at some homes. 
All right, so we are on our way to go and drive by these homes. They're like a new development that's building. And like I said, we're just like keeping our eye out if there's anything. Honestly, I think these ones are gonna be are also out of our price range. But everything is slowing down right now, so I'm gonna wait and kind of see like everything drop. Um, I feel like existing houses are really hard to move right now, right? And they're even having a hard time selling the rest of the ones in our neighborhood. That's what I've noticed, because like a lot of these one product types that they built, a few of them are sitting now. And um, they were selling like crazy in the beginning when they first opened up in the first phase, but now they're like just sitting. Because I think the price has just got too high and it's just not worth it for that area with what you're getting for that house. So right now we're looking over here and we're gonna see just how it looks. Hey guys, so I have Riley in there right now, but I wanna show you some clothes that I just got from Target. And these are so cute. I saw these online and I was like, oh my God, I have to order these. And Target shipping is actually really nice and quick. So I've been ordering a lot from there. But these little Winnie the Pooh coveralls right here are so cute. Oh my gosh, I got these in, I think it's six to nine months. Yeah, six to nine months. Here's another one. I think they came in a set, but it's so cute. And then I also had to get this Dumbo one right here because oh, Dumbo was my favorite movie as a kid. I loved it. I fast forwarded the sad parts because I would always cry in it. But this one came with this little romper right here, which is so adorable. If I can find these online still, I will link them down below for you guys. But... Oh, they are so cute. And then I also got her these um, Elsa ones. These are for 12 months. So she'll honestly fit in these probably in like when she's like six months. And this is what they look like. Look how adorable. I was like, when I saw these online, I was like, oh, she has to have some Elsa PJs, you guys. So I picked those up. But I have those for the pile right now to go get washed. And then these are all the laundry that I just got done doing. So I need to fold them and put them away. And this one is making grunting noises. <laughs> okay, so as I'm putting stuff away, here are some other items. And these are from Target as well. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen, um, what were their names? Mila and Emma. Their Instagram it is so cute. They're two little twins. They are adorable. So they came out with their own line in Target. And look at how adorable these dresses are right here. Like this is beautiful. This is going to be so pretty on Riley. This is 12 months right here. And then also this one, which is also super cute. This little pink one. And also has little bloomers down below. This one is also 12 months. But oh, I just love it. It is so cute. And then look at these little shorts. How adorable are these shorts right here with this little crop top? And then it says M-E on it for Mila and Emma, but it is so cute. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see her in this. But I thought these were adorable, so I just wanted to show you guys those as well. So again, these are from Target, and I will link them down below.